Hello everyone and welcome to Spirituality Sundays on Sunday the 9th of April 2023. Easter. Happy Easter. Today is Tarot Card of the Week. The deck I'll be using is Druid Craft Tarot. The focus is on prayer. So let's choose a card and see. Pentacles, four of wands. Wands, fire signs, star signs associated. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, pentacles, earth signs, star signs associated. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Two cards together, timing. Pentacles are a lengthy period, ones are weeks, so if we go by the four week period, one month from today. House and home, benevolence, being in a position of good fortune to hand, lend or borrow to others. Let's see what the book says. Perhaps you're in a position where you're in a privileged position to help somebody acquire property or somebody's given you money or assets or land to set roots and buy your own property. We'll see. Of house and home established. The four of wands, key words, hearth and home, harvest, celebration. When the fire's warmth meets safety and security symbolised by the number four, we see a combination of ease, comfort and deep satisfaction. All the warm feelings denoted by the word home and symbolised by the hearth fire. Finding this card in a reading may indicate a sense of enjoying the harvest of your work or it may relate to acquiring a new home, improving your existing one or successfully launching a project or completing a phase of work. For this reason, the card may also be suggesting celebrating your achievement with a party, ritual or rite of passage. Alternatively, another interpretation may be more fitting. Fire needs air to breathe and it's possible that your energy is frustrated or limited by the four walls of your home, your routine or your life. Accepting your circumstances and simply enjoying them may be the best course of action. So that was the Four of Wands. We'll now look at the Six of Pentacles again. Money, assets, property, benevolence, being in a position to share or somebody's been very generous towards you, which could denote in house and home improvements, buying a property, being given the keys to a particular door. So although the Pentacles denote a longer period, within a four week period, one month, Six of Pentacles when I find it. <laughs> Here we are. Six of Pentacles. Keywords, generosity, patronage, gifts. In accordance with the principle of the Wiccan law of threefold return, the harvest of all thoughts, feelings or actions frequently yield more than imagined. The practical use of magic is based on an understanding of this law of the returning tide. The magician consciously sows seeds of love, healing and generosity without the thought of personal gain, knowing that over time part of that harvest will go towards creating the optimal conditions for their own fulfilment. It's possible that you are now experiencing such a beneficial time. This card often indicates the process of giving or receiving benefits. You may be the one harvesting gain or you may be in receipt of patronage or gifts or generosity, financial or other assistance. Or you could be the one doing the giving. You might be involved in a philanthropic project or you could be sharing profits or completing a divorce settlement. Either way, there's a sense of balance and fairness. 
A benefactor may have entered your life or you may find yourself dealing with someone who is generous but restrained in their giving, though justly so. The card can also not only refer to money but also to your work and material and social life, suggesting good job prospects and good company. Pray. Is this the miracle that you've been praying for? Have you been praying for a lucky break and then kaboom, it arrives? Are you the person who's providing a lucky break for somebody or even yourself? Because maybe you've had the faith to believe in the power of prayer. Not everybody does and that's fair enough. And things have come into fruition where you are in a position to say thank you to whoever you pray to, be it a person, an entity or otherwise. How does it work out for you? How does it resonate, if at all? For me, if I think of prayer, again, as I've just described, you'll pray for an opening, a miracle where something, someone answers your prayers. I'll leave a further description and I'll also leave you with a thought of the day. Pray, wait, trust. Say a little prayer. Please hold that thought. Leave a comment and take care.